Okay folks, welcome back to the shop. Recently I made some Easter baskets for my grandchildren and I used a new tool called the miter set. Let me show you how it works. Let's get started. Okay folks, so we decided we were going to do an eight segment circle for those baskets. And you might wonder what a segment is. A segment is one of these guys and you take eight of them to make the circle. Now you can have eight, 16, 24, however many you'd like, but in this case, eight seemed to be the magic number. Now, how did I get that angle? Well, let me show you. I have these little ditties right here. These are from Miter Set. There's two different ones. One of them creates angles from zero to 50, and there's some in-betweens with this bar. I might go into a later video and explain how that works. And we also have this one, and I put the tape on here with the little letter seg, because every time I open it up, I open up the wrong box. At any rate, Miter Set has done all the math for you, figured this all out. You don't have to get out any of the protractors and try to figure this out. The way this works, this comes out of the box. Some people have these mounted right into their table. I don't. The way we find that angle with these segment gauges is with these two little pins. Pick a zero point, left or right, depending on which way you want your fence to turn. Then locate the number that corresponds to the number of segments that you'd like. In this case, we want eight. Then you simply take your miter set, miter gauge, and slide it in the machined slot like that. Push it in until the fence engages both pins like that, and lock it down. You now have the exact angle to make an eight segmented circle, an eight segmented column. It doesn't matter. You'll have eight pieces that when put together will create a perfect circle. Now you can switch this left or right, it doesn't matter. Um, I recommend this thing, I don't know how I got along without this thing, making circles and picture frames and stuff. If you want to nail an angle, this miter set is definitely the way to go. One more thing about them, they have this nice rubber non-slip pad underneath, they don't move on a metal surface. Get yourself a miter set if you're always doing angles and you'd like to get them perfect. Now, I'll leave an affiliate link in the description below so that you guys can click on these, help me out a little bit, and locate the miter set for yourself if you'd like one. Now, as I said, folks, I created some Easter baskets with this thing, and if you'd like to see how they turned out, I'll leave a link to that video in the description also. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you on the next one.